as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 90. Be alert for Satan's devices, March 23rd. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. 1 Peter 5, 8, and 9. Let every soul be on the alert. The adversary is on your track. Be vigilant, watching diligently, lest some carefully concealed and masterly snare shall take you unaware. Let the careless and indifferent beware, lest the day of the Lord come upon them as a thief in the night. Many will wander from the path of humility, and casting aside the yoke of Christ, will walk in strange paths. Blinded and bewildered, they will leave the narrow path that leads to the city of God. He who overcomes must watch, for with worldly entanglements, error, and superstitions, Satan strives to win Christ's followers from him. It is not enough that we avoid glaring dangers and perilous, inconsistent moves. We are to keep close to the side of Christ, walking in the path of self-denial and sacrifice. We are in an enemy's country. He who was cast out of heaven has come down with great power. With every conceivable artifice and device, he is seeking to take souls captive. Unless we are constantly on guard, we shall fall in easy prey to his unnumbered deceptions. Everything is now clothed with a solemnity that all who believe the truth for this time should realize. They should act in reference to the day of God. The judgments of God are about to fall upon the world, and we need to be preparing for that great day. Our time is precious. We have but few, very few days of probation in which to make ready for the future immortal life. We have no time to spend in haphazard movements. We should fear to skim the surface of the Word of God. If your whole interest is in the truth and the preparatory work for this time, you will be sanctified through the truth and receive a fitness for immortality. The thorough work of preparation must go on with all who profess the truth until we stand before the throne of God without fault, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. God will cleanse you if you will submit to the purifying process. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.